Remember your first leg day, you know, it was brutal after. That sort of thing, right? This is bringing that back. What is up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is 1907, check out 1907.com. 1907water.com, coupon code Russo. ASMR spritz, telegel, and carbon. There's a noises, coupon code Russo. Young LA, all other discounts in the pinned comment below. Welcome back to Peducation. Today I'm gonna to be talking about arachidonic acid and this video is sponsored by Enhanced if you want arachidonic acid, but this is one of the only natural supplements mentioned in the Anabolics 11th edition written by doctors on performance enhancing compounds, specifically steroids and SARMs. I highly recommend you guys get this book. If you're into this sort of stuff, read through it yourself. I use this as my reference, but yeah, I've had a lot of experience with arachidonic acid. I'll have Andrew throw up another one of my videos I've done on it. Um, I used to use it a lot when I was little and over time I use it every once in a while. I will go into the side effects. Actually, this book makes it out that it's um, fairy tale risk free. I have um, differing opinions and I will go into my personal experience as far as protocol with arachidonic acid. So you have omega-3s which reduce inflammation, you have omega-6s which raise inflammation, specifically arachidonic acid being an omega-6, so you're gonna raise inflammation, which is going to raise local growth factors. Specifically, the PGF2 alpha pathway seems to get enhanced when it's inflamed with arachidonic acid. This can enhance muscle cell sensitivity to IGF, testosterone, SARMs, hormones, overall causing a cascade of local growth factors that you would otherwise not have. The way to put this in layman's terms is remember when you first started resistance training, bodybuilding, powerlifting, you know, working with weights, how sore you would get after, that's the arachidonic acid that's built up. Arachidonic acid is found in beef, chicken, you know, any sort of meat really has it in there. And then obviously, we're crazy over here in supplementing super physiological amounts, but you know, over time you start to not get as sore and as sore as sore anymore, and then you're not really sore at all after training. This comes in and brings that soreness back. So that's what you can expect from this product is that extreme level soreness you had at the beginning of training with your noob gains. Like remember your first leg day, you know, it was brutal after that sort of thing, right? This is bringing that back. So I'm not going to really read through the study in this book because you guys will laugh at me. Um, according to this study, 3.75 pounds were gained supplementing X factor, roughly a half pound of muscle each week of the study. That, that's bullshit. Um, the original product was called X factor. So it definitely works, but you're not going to be gaining a half pound of muscle a week, but that's in a book by doctors, right? So that's that makes no fucking sense. All right, anywhere from 500 to 1500 milligrams is recommended out of the Anabolics book. I think less is more with this. And as far as the safety data, according to this book, it's very safe. My opinion, you can cause extreme systemic inflammation, which they talk about in here, but just don't go buck wild with it, right? Don't go buck wild with it. I've done it. I've been fucked. I've been like bedridden after training legs with too much of this in me. And overall, I would err on the side of caution. I think the big problem that I fell into is that, you know, back in the day, my arms were lagging so far behind everything else. And I would always take a ton of it on arm day. And maybe I would take a little bit on chest day. And I was all built up in my legs coming that leg day where I didn't take it. However, it was all stacked up in my legs that it destroyed me so just know that it's building up everywhere and just know that it could seriously cause like legit systemic inflammation of the entire body right so this is a natural supplement but you definitely got to err on the side of caution that's pretty much it as far as the book is concerned my two cents is i liked again with this product i would do two pills 
three pills, possibly four pills if I was still feeling good and I'd take like two, three days off and then let it dissipate out of my system. And if I wanted to continue, if you go buck wild, I used to do four pills a day in a row, in a row, in a row, in a row, had some heartburn and overall just felt systemically inflamed like crazy. So I do that little pyramid up. I don't pyramid down, I just straight up stop and then I let it dissipate and then I go again. And I use this on weak body parts in combination with androgens and IGF-1. This really shines. In the anabolic matrix, you got the androgen pathway, which you got covered. You got the growth hormone pathway. You got the myostatin pathway. This is in the local growth factors pathway. Systemic inflammation or specifically site-specific inflammation of the muscles you're trying to target, thus recruiting more local growth factors. That's the whole goal of this. Definitely would not overdo it. You can 100% overdo it. This is no joke, this product can cause some serious sides if you abuse it. And you have to know that, again, if you're taking omega-3s fish oil and then you're taking this later, they're gonna try and cancel each other out. So it's like, do you want the inflammation to cause more muscle growth or do you want to reduce inflammation for longevity with like turmeric and fish oil and keeping inflammation low in the body? This is doing the opposite. Do not combine them. You will cancel each other out. It will be like wasting both products and, you know, I've seen that a lot and I don't want people, you know, people to know like if you're on a big ass steroid cycle and you want to get the most out of it, adding this in there will cause more local recruitment, local growth factors, and overall it'll flame your muscles more, which causes more soreness, which equals more growth. It's pretty simple. Don't overdo it. I will see you guys in my next video.